So today, we have DCEU's Superman taking on MCU's Captain Marvel. Who wins? Well, let's find out. So, born on the doomed planet Krypton, Kal-El was sent to Earth as a baby by his parents for his protection. Upon arriving, he was adopted by the Loving Kent family and was given the name Clark Kent. Realizing he has powers, he decided to use them for good and became the superhero named Superman. Due to his physiology, his cells store solar energy from the sun, which is the source of his powers, and due to being exposed to our sun all his life, he is more powerful than any other Kryptonian. He has immense superhuman strength, being able to send Doomsday into space after a few punches, overpower Wonder Woman and Aquaman, completely trash Steppenwolf, easily lift and carry a large building which could weigh up to several hundred tons and when Aquaman, Wonder Woman and Cyborg were pushing against him he was able to push them all away simultaneously with ease. His body is also virtually indestructible as he can withstand massive explosions, withstand tremendous blows from General Zod, Doomsday and other Kryptonians, survive the full force of the world engine's gravity beam and a nuclear bomb. He has an immense level of speed as well, being the only one on the Justice League able to keep up with the Flash, and he's proved to be much faster than Aquaman and Wonder Woman. He can also fly fast enough to break the sound barrier as well. He has extremely enhanced senses. His heat vision can hurt other Kryptonians and momentarily uh, match Doomsday's, and his freeze breath was able to completely freeze Steppenwolf's axe uh, nearly instantly. And finally, he's a skilled tactician and brawler as well. And in the other corner, we have Captain Marvel from the MCU. After being exposed to the energy of the Tesseract, Carol Danvers gained cosmic powers. After she was taken in by the Kree, she was made into a Kree-human hybrid via a blood transfusion by young Rog. This unique physiology enhanced her physicality, which can be tremendously enhanced more so with her cosmic powers. She's strong enough to bring down Yun Rog's ship with one hit, easily carry a spaceship from deep space to Earth, destroy Thanos' large spaceship just by flying through it twice, and slowly and eventually overpower Thanos with all six Infinity Stones. She's durable enough to not even flinch after being headbutted by Thanos withstood several blasts from Thanos' large spaceship, completely unfazed, and being blasted by the Power Stone, although this did knock her out. She can fly at faster than light speeds, uh, but her most powerful attack are her photon blasts. With these, she has sent yon rog flying back 100 feet, and she destroyed several Kree spaceship, uh, spaceships with these uh, easily as well. And finally, she's an expert combatant and master of the Kree martial arts, being able to fly an almost equal footing with Yon Rog and to dominate against Talos as well. So, these two are arguably the two most powerful heroes from their respected franchises, probably the most powerful heroes. Uh, but who would win in a fight? Well, let's find out. So, who's stronger? Well, Carol is strong enough to easily destroy several Kree ships and Thanos' large spaceship just by flying through them, to stop and throw back a giant ballistic missile, to easily carry the, the ship Tony and Nebula was on from deep space to Earth, fight against Thanos, and to actually overpower Thanos, who had all six Infinity Stones. But Superman is strong enough to send General Zod and other Kryptonians flying with his punches, punch Doomsday into space with only a few punches, uh, completely overpower Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and Cyborg simultaneously, easily lift and carry a large building that weighed several hundred tons, and just completely trash Steppenwolf. I'd say they're fairly even here. So, who's more durable? Well, I'm just gonna say it. Carol. J just hear me out here. She was completely unfazed by a headbutt from Thanos, while Clark was momentarily dazed by a headbutt from Wonder Woman. I'm not di uh, downgrading Diana, but she's not quite on Thanos' power level. Also, Superman has just shown more signs of pain, like he was almost killed by a nuke, almost killed by Batman, and was hurt by General Zod and Doomsday. The only real time we saw Captain Marvel get hurt 
was when Thanos used the Power Stone on her, a freaking Infinity Stone. Captain Marvel is more durable. But with that being said, Clark has a higher pain tolerance and even has a healing factor when exposed to the sun. And now, speed. They're both taking advantage here. Like, Captain Marvel is faster in terms of flying, as she has gone faster than light speed, while Clark has just broke the sound barrier, meaning the speed of sound. But in a fight, oh boy, Clark is much faster. Much faster. I mean, he was able to perceive the flash and actually keep up with him. Like, he moves so fast in combat that the Flash is the only one who can outpace him. Not even Wonder Woman, who's a casual bullet timer. So, both have their own physical advantages. Now, Captain Marvel is obviously the more skilled fighter, as she was actually extensively trained by the Kree, and Superman has no formal training, he just kind of brawls around. Now for their other powers, like uh, Carol's Photon Blast and Clark's Heat Vision and Freeze Breath. Her blasts have sent yon rog flying 100 feet and easily destroyed Kree spaceships, but Clark's Heat Vision has temporarily matched Doomsday's and his Freeze Breath quickly froze Steppenwolf's axe. I'd say they both can survive these attacks. So, who wins? Well, I gotta go with Superman on this one. You see, Captain Marvel normally just bull rushes her opponents because she knows how powerful she is and is overconfident with it, borderline cocky. It usually works out for her though because she is very powerful, but with Superman, it won't. He's just so much faster in combat. His speed just counters every advantage she has. Uh, it'll be a good long fight. But in the end, DCEU Superman wins. Like and subscribe. Please leave a comment down below. And please hit the notification bell if you did enjoy. Have a great day. Peace.